next few clips were taken over the last couple of weeks. The first clip you'll see, you'll see me saying, hey, everybody, and here, and I'm complaining about how cold it is. Well, that was like a couple of weeks ago when it was down into the low 30s, but it's been relatively mild lately, um, high 40s, low 50s, so... Um, I'm still lighting a fire. So, uh, this next video sequence is just going to be me. And, uh, most of it is cooking because I've been making comfort food lately <laughs> over the wood burning stove or the rocket stove. So, uh, yeah. And there's some new developments in one of the chickens. Hey, everybody, Ann here. It is bright and early in the morning and I'm in my hoodie because it's freezing. It's like... 36 degrees in here, so I got a fire going on the wood burning stove. I got the leftovers of venison stew that I made yesterday evening, and it's going to be a bright, sunny day today, but it is going to be chilly, so I don't know what I'm going to get done today. Hmm, I think it's probably going to involve wood. My mouth, mm, it's like frozen. It's so cold in here. Look at that. See how pretty it is? I know it's dark, but it's just so comforting to be able to have that wood-burning stove and have plenty of wood. I'm in heaven. Look at this yummy venison stew. It may not look good to you, but it is to me. Yeah, that's one of my dehydrated mushrooms. And just a couple cans of sliced potatoes, venison meat. A can of great northern beans, some dehydrated carrots and corn and green beans. Oh my gosh. This is just so good. Look at these beautiful puppies. They like to chill out right by me. Or sometimes right by Papa. Papa is the best doggy ever. And look at, that's Miss Cindy. She likes to get up and smooch him. She loves Papa. Doug and Violet have been coming over and picking up wood, and each time they bring me something awesome. This time it was a big package of chicken legs, so I cooked them up like for three or four meals, and I've thrown the bones into a pot and make some chicken stock. So I'm going to make some hearty chicken soup. There's some of my dehydrated carrots in there and some pasta. I threw some more chicken in there and it just turned out really, really delicious. So very good. Look at that. Yep. Perfect comfort food. And the rest goes to the puppies. They get their share as well. The next morning, I made my version of corned beef and hash, but it's not like with corned beef. It's like banner sausage. I did a video of me making it, and the rest is going to Papa and the puppies. They get their share. I love cooking in that cast iron skillet. I put an egg in the nesting box to see if they would be inspired to start laying, and look at that. Yes, that really dark brown one is from Mary, the black copper morans. The other one is from Mocha. She lays a dark brown egg too. But they have definitely started laying. Look at, it is just so tiny. I mean, Mocha hasn't laid an egg in a while either, but isn't it beautiful? It is very small, but it is very, very dark. And Selena's started laying a couple days ago. So I'm just really excited about this. I'm hoping that the Cream Lake Bar will start laying her blue eggs soon so we can see what they look like. Oh no, I'm just so jazzed about this. Yeah, I need to put some more bedding in that other one. I don't have another nesting pad. But look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes, Mary started laying eggs. So I'm excited about that. And the next day I went out and checked again and she laid me another beautiful egg. I cut up the rest of the venison from Doug and Violet and put it in a stew just with some of my canned tomatoes, some beans and carrots and mushrooms and yep, 
definitely I got some, but the puppies and papa got some too. And the next morning I cracked a bunch of eggs over it and we all had breakfast together. I was out walking around my property looking for mushrooms and look at this apple tree has a bloom on it. Oh my goodness. Yes, I cannot believe it. So yeah, there's a bloom and there are plenty of wild forageables in here. A bunch of dandelion leaves, some nice ones and some wild violas and some passion fruit vine that all gets to stay. And then this tree still is holding on to its leaves. I'm really happy about this spot. I have finally combined the flocks. That's Fabio over there. I took him and his four girls and just put them in the other coop. Actually, uh, I just kind of closed off things here and there and just made them go up into the coop. But um, the first few days, they remained pretty separate. The two black chickens are of his flock. That's another one. Um, that chicken right there on the white platform thing, that's one of his and um, that's one of his. But they are all kind of roosting and chumming around together. So um, it's going to simplify things for me. I just need to go to the main coop and the new girl's coop. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Yeah, when I was combining the flocks before I did it, I wanted to pull the nesting boxes out and like rearrange stuff. And I pulled the filing cabinet because the chickens just love that filing cabinet, love the, to lay their eggs in there. And I added some more and put some stuff on top. So I was pulling all the other stuff out um, and trying to level the bedding so that things would be level. And um, I pulled a piece of cardboard off the floor and there was a snake under it. It was probably, I don't know, like um, maybe three feet long. It was a young snake. Um, it was a king snake. It wasn't anything venomous. It wasn't like a copper head or anything like that. Um, <laughs> so I'm just like, you guys would have been proud of me. You would have been proud of me because I just grabbed a pair of loppers and um, it's kind of like they've got a curved end on it. And I just clipped its tails, but I didn't clip it clean through. I've just grabbed its tail. I mean, it had about this much tail left. So, um, I didn't, I didn't want to kill it because they're good for like eating mice and stuff like that. Um, and there's been no my, mouse activity in their run. So I, I just squeezed it, you know, tight enough to where I had it. And then I had to take one hand and open up the coop door and open up the, the run door. And, um, I took it all the way back out in the back of my woods and just tossed it in the woods and it's just slithered away happily. Um, so, but you would have been proud of me because I was not freaking the heck out and I took care of, care of it myself. I wish I would have got it on film, but, um, I didn't, I just wanted to get it out of there because there was chickens trying to go in and out of there and lay eggs. Anyhow, that's my big trauma story. Um, anyhow, that's just what's been going on. Um, I'm trying to kind of like perk up, but, um, it'll come. I'm going to give myself some time and um, just take it easy for a while. <laughs> you can tell I look, I still look very, very tired. Um, anyhow, I hope you're all well and um, thank you for your kind and comforting words. Thank you so much. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.